Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekday reading. Friday, um, <laughs> weekday, right? Monday to Thursday. Let me put my act together. Monday to Thursday, to Thursday you and the other person, okay? Central issue and their blockages and their extended reading. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's a general reading, guys. Okay. So here we go, Aquarians. Aquarians, I think you're struggling dealing with Leo. Okay. That's one thing that, I, that they were just telling me. Okay. Now, Aquarians, because after this, because I'm doing a series, right? Um, please do watch an announcement about my personal read. It's going to be in a separate video. It's a sweet goodbye and a sweet beginning, I think, Aquarius. Okay. So here we go. This is for you. Ooh, Aquarians. Can be dealing with a Gemini or your soulmate. This is the lover's card. This is a decision making as well. When I feel this energy right now, it's like either you had sex with someone very recent, you become intimate with someone, or you feel this passion. You see also the growth, the chemistry here. Something that you, they're telling me about how much is that doggy in the window. You know how that, that song is? I think you finally have the puppy now. Oh, look at that, four of ones. <laughs> so you have finally had the puppy. So you finally connect with someone. Relationship. I think you're going to go into a relationship. You're going to have a relationship, Aquarian, with your soulmate. Oh, conflict of energy, five of pentacles. But don't worry because this is, I think, passing. What was and what is. You were single before, or this person is not committing to you, and then all of a sudden, people are being eclipsed out, okay? The energy is for six months, guys, so you have to understand, things are still manifesting, abrupt changes are still gonna happen. King of Cups, see? Can be a water sign. You're gonna have someone who will fall in love for you, you don't even expect. You're probably, you know, I have to use the word, they're asking me to use this word, barren. Okay, so you're, you know, technically you're going to be a witch. I'm just saying in a, in a Disney world, wait, okay? Because you can't just say witch in, you know, in what we do. You know, like how it is in the tower and nobody wants her. I'm not saying that nobody wants you, but there's someone coming towards you that's going to turn you into become a Disney princess. It's not, this is not something sugar-coated. This is what it is. King of Cups, someone being able to express their love and emotion towards you. And here we go, that card. Everybody's getting this, I swear, in the same part. Um, everybody's ending a cycle. And, oh, full moon also is approaching. So really, people are manifesting something in the past for five months. Now it's really starting new. This is good energy. Finally, we're getting... Even the planet is getting a start new. You know, like all these things that's being that's happening. It's it's actually paving. It's, it's, a, it's a hard explanation what's going on. But here we go. I don't want to go there. Seven of Swords. I see here. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Good. I think they choose someone over you. Seven and seven. Seven of Pentacles. I think they choose you. They weren't cheating. Well, they were dating other people. You guys were not exclusive. And then this person feels like, well, whoever I spend more time with, I think that's a person that's going to be for me. So if they're the, you're the one that's being spent time on, then it's going to be you. <laughs> you. Yes, Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're going to offer to you. They're going to offer to you. Whoever this person is. Let me see. Ooh, you have here too much, but I'm gonna read it for you guys. High Priestess, okay, with the Magician, okay, we'll have that as their clarity already. Magician and the Page of Pentacles. They're gonna, one, they were not telling you what they were, they're gonna do for you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. You know how people are very heroic. It's like, oh, I want to do this for you. Um, they didn't tell you what they're willing to do for you, but now they're going to tell you. But it's not something big, Aquarius. Trust me. You're going to be like, what? That's it? <laughs> but it's still an effort though, okay? And then see Nine of Cups. You see, <laughs> you're still going to get it. I told you, central issue, something that you're we are waiting for, you're wishing for. It's very tricky, this Nine of Cups, because... Is its energy is like getting what you wish for. So we always wish for this energy to come, not knowing what it's connected. Because you wish for this person to come towards you and then all of a sudden you feel like, wait, that's it? Like I gave up a lot of stuff and that's it. And you come towards me and that's it. So <laughs> try to be satisfied with your wish, okay? So I, that's why I always go for the wishing for money. I'm kidding, okay? It's just tricky with the wishing for love, okay? So you get what you wish for. Both of you are sharing that energy. You you were single before and now something's coming towards your way. It's a little bit too little time frame from Monday to Thursday to see this energy. So this can manifest, you know, I think even further. You have to understand the energies are fluid, okay? So Aquarians, I'm going to continue this reading. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful weekday. I'll see you guys again.
拜。